up, y'all? You are watching another episode of Candyology. I am your girl, Candy J, certified clinical sexologist and relationship coach. You know, we talk about love, sex, and relationships here. And um, guys, I got some special guests in the building. Oh my God. So if you have never tuned into Candyology, today is the day, okay? Because on my show, I have beautiful, three beautiful, first of all, one of them is my children, but she's my child. She's my child. She's a part of the crew. She's also my assistant, um, Miss Little Monique Mitchell over there. Um, <laughs> and then she had. I have the pleasure of having her two best friends on the show. Oh my God! Hi, girl. Hi. How are you doing? What's good? Hello. Um, so I would like for you to introduce yourselves and tell us who you are, and um, you can do your 106 and work out on Who are you, ma'am? Hey, y'all, it's your girl CC from the 901, all the way in the 214. <laughs> for those who don't know me, I am Monique's best friend, and I'm happy to be here, happy to be tuning in to Candy Ology. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, my name is Yasmin, but y'all can call me Yaz. Um... I guess I'm the mama of the group. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, hi, happy to be here. <laughs> and then who we got down over here? Oh, Hello. Y'all. It's Monique, my first home ball, as y'all know. I'm 18. I'm Miss Candy's assistant. Y'all should know me by now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you ain't seen my child on Facebook or Instagram, you missing out, okay? Because <laughs> she's gorgeous, right? And um, gorgeous people have to have gorgeous best friends, oh, okay? Um, so... <laughs> Today we are talking about teenagers and sex, y'all. Teenagers and sex. Let's talk about it, okay? <laughs> and so the reason, um, one of the reasons why I chose this very topic is because <laughs> if you've ever, if you've ever watched Candyology, I have told this story multiple times, and the girls haven't quite heard it all, but um, I'm gonna tell you the story real quick. <clears throat> So, I was born to Angela and Rodney. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a biography. I know, right? No, but so my parents um, were, uh, my mom was a preacher, okay? My dad was a minister, but they were also a nurse and a fireman, right? And so, all they talked to me about was keep your legs closed. Okay. Keep your legs closed. Don't do nothing. What do I do with these feelings, though, yo? Um, and so I winded up never telling them a whole bunch of stuff that we'll get into later. But, I mean, if you're told not to do anything, don't you want some more information about oh, what yeah, you yeah, can, have <laughs> can you tell me why, you know? Exactly. Can you tell me what I do with these feelings? Uh, I mean, what, what do you do, right? Yeah. And so um, my godmother was also a minister. Okay. <laughs> And so she would always say, oh, don't talk to those boys. Oh, don't talk to them girls either. <laughs> I'm just saying. And But she would also be like, well, don't be a hoe. You know, don't be a slut. Um, you know, don't do not do all of this these things. But what is a hoe and what is a slut? What does that really mean? Yeah. Like, give me a definition. Like, what when you think about that word, what, do you, what, what comes to mind for y'all? Like ho, slut. What 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 comes to mind? Okay. Okay. Sleeping with multiple people. What else? I feel like a hoe is somebody's business out there. Like yeah. your sleeping status is out in the street. Mm-hmm. Cause you can be you can be a hoe on the low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong because she does not have What's a hoe on the low? A hoe on the low. <laughs> <laughs> a hoe on the low is is somebody who knows who knows what they're doing without putting it everywhere. Uh-huh. Who 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 does what they do, okay. loves what they do, uh-huh. but doesn't tell what they do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a hoe on the low, but they are still a hoe. Yeah, but oh, they're still a hoe. They're definitely still a hoe. Still they're very like much still a hoe, hoe, right? Still okay. Very much. So um. And so then, what's a hoe by your definition? Like, is it has it changed since, you know, I'm thinking about my definition. Has it changed? Has it changed? What's your definition? 
Oh, because for us, a hoe was a person that was sleeping with multiple yeah, people yeah, yeah, at the same thing. time. Okay, so yeah. no, no, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Okay, nothing. cool. Because, you know, 39, 18, 19, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, sometimes those things change, right? Those yeah. definitions change because, mm-hmm. like, I'd be thinking... <laughs> I be thinking like twerking wasn't called twerking back then. I don't know what it was really called. Popping, uh, pop, popping booty. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What would, what did we what call we twerking back then? Because we definitely twerked. But y'all twerk. Yeah. It's the y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on over. He didn't twerk. Lies, you say. Lies. They twerk. We did cabbage patch. Y'all was cabbage Not the cabbage patch. Cabbage Cabbage Oh, you were prepping. You know what prepping is. Okay, okay. All right. So, <laughs> but so like I was the um I was the flute um the leader of the flute uh, section for band, right? Mm-hmm. And so in Florida we have um it's called Six Trump Festival. And so when you have Six Trump Festival, whoever the leader is, you twerk. And you know what I'm going down. It wouldn't call twerking again, right? So. I got in trouble because that that was slut behavior. Oh. That was slut behavior. How is it slut behavior? No. Right, that's the same question I asked. Like, what was I doing that was sluttish? That Honestly? wasn't slut because I wasn't out here giving head to people on at mm. the in the band mm. in the streets. Let them know. I mm. wouldn't. I wouldn't popping it and popping it Let on a know. dick in the street. Ooh, so how in the world was it slut behavior? Because she didn't like it. Uh huh. Like, mm-hmm. There's a lot of socially constructed stuff to, you know, make little girls and and women especially mm-hmm. to just put them down and stuff like that. Exactly. You know? Right. And the little, you know, little girls and stuff and young women were overly sexualized. Mm-hmm. As well. So back then it was very prevalent. So. I feel like you can't do anything and it not be sexualized. I don't care if I'm wearing a nun's uh, thing with all black down and then they come like, ooh, that's my fantasy. Like, like, please, please give us a break. Can we breathe? People wear a sweatsuit and they would still be like, ooh, what's coming? Exactly. Yeah. So what did your parents, and I'm asking all three of y'all, what did your parents talk to you when it came to sex? How early did they have a conversation about sex or did they have one at all? Um, my mom, she definitely, you know, bit that bullet early. She, I think when I got my period, she was just like, so this conversation needs to be had. Let's sit on the couch. Or like the type of movies that I watch, you know, mm-hmm. on Netflix, they will show, so, they quick to show somebody, <laughs> somebody butt, okay? Mm-hmm. They quick to show two, two people having sex on right. the couch. Okay, so I think she caught me watching like a show like that. I was minding my business. She was like, do you know what sex is? Do you know what these feelings are? And I was like, mm, I would want to say 14 going on 15 into high school. Mm-hmm. And she just kept it real. She was like, this is what people have when, you know, their hormones is out of there. And I really wish she would have emphasized, like, your hormones are going to be banging on your brain. Oh, this <laughs> now. <laughs> free, free me. Especially if you see a fine brother walking down the hallway. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, so, um, excuse me, miss. <laughs> I was like, <"Sorry." laughs> So what, I mean, is that all that she said? You know, is she was it, just like, you know, safe sex is the best sex and... Pause. Did she tell you what safe sex was? Oh, most definitely. Okay, she cool. explained to me everything from all to like what a female condom was, different types of birth control, what birth control does to your body, what birth control specifically does to our family's body. Mm-hmm. And so there was no that was question good. that we left mm-hmm. untimed. But now, um the father figure mm-hmm. <laughs> that I had, he was like, um, first of all, you are the Virgin Mary. <laughs> and, you know, if he wants to think that, you go. Cool. Yeah, go go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. You, if you want to think that, that's all you. <laughs> that's but funny. meanwhile, I was that's called, funny. <laughs> look, meanwhile, I was texting my mother, so when's the next time are we going to the store? When's the next time we're going to the doctor? Thanks. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so she put you on birth control? Oh yeah, but that was for health reasons. Oh, that was okay. because my cramps was like, girl, this is the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They was like, yeah, this is no boys to men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so it wasn't for because mine was trying to put me on it for sexual reasons. Yours put it on for health reasons. Yeah. Even though I needed mine for health reasons, she she was like, "Oh no, that's for that's for when you're getting ready to have sex." No, okay. Ma'am. I heard. No, that's not how that goes. No, ma'am. So I appreciate your mom. That's definitely dope. Is there anything else? Like she really did she get graphic about anything or was she oh, just she straight? Got, she got graphic about STDs, all this. She scared me to that. When I tell you the first time I had sex, I was like, I need your health history. Go get a physical. Like <laughs> No, like, I need what's your family history? Like I nah, I need actually send me your ex number. Like we need to have a conversation. <laughs> Oh wow, that's that's a lot. Yes, what about you? I actually had to talk with my dad. Oh wow, yeah. how did that go? Ah, that was, was actually really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Not even gonna lie to you, cause he when he found out, cause I didn't tell him. My sister told him because my sister found out, cause I didn't tell him. Here's the whole story. My sister, mm. my sister's very petty, mm-hmm. so and she likes to be in my business. So when I don't tell her something and she finds out from somebody else, she runs straight to my parents. So that's a different story for a different time. So he he basically told me, he was like, Yasmin, come, let's go for a ride. I was like, okay. We get into the car, and he was like, so I hear you're having sex. I was like, um, I mean, I dabble. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I said it. I was like, I don't. And he was like, I just want to let you know that the first the first thing he said to me was was it consensual that's the first thing he said to me he was like you were comfortable the entire time i was like yeah that, that was i was good he was like okay second thing did y'all use protection i was like yes we did and then he was like he went into everything about uh how he don't want no grandkids um how if you pop up with std that's all i can say he asked me how I lost it, what happened, make sure I was okay, all of that. But most of all, he was just telling me to be. So, let, let, let's explore that for a second, though. You had this conversation after you yeah. had sex. Yeah. So, what made you go to having sex that led us to this conversation? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh. <laughs> How did we get there? Because I was about to, I was about to say something. <laughs> how, did we get to, how did I get to losing my virginity? Yes. Alcohol. Oh. Oh. This is a safe space. Okay. This is a safe this space. Is That's why I said alcohol. This, this is so definitely sad, a safe space. I had one too many shots. He was looking kind of good and we... Oh, wow. So, was he older than you, same age? Uh, he was a year older than me. Okay. Yeah, all right. He was a year older than me. So, how, uh, so the alcohol, the inebriation led it was, you it was to... More, it was more of, it was the, it was more the, 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 the liquid was more of the push. It was already, we was already established that me and him had sexual attraction to each other. Mm. It was just the liquid that pushed us over the edge, mm. you know? That made us test the waters. Mm. <laughs> so, how was that first experience then? Um, what was your mindset? Or was there a mindset? Oh, there really wasn't. I was. It was just. It was really drunk thoughts. It was really. Feel good. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it a player. Uh, That's how it felt. So, were you with this person or no? No, we're friends. We were friends for a long time. We're still friends. Okay. And we still have sex. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So wait. So is th- is this a side person or in a between person or is this the person that you just continue to have sex with? This is the person that if I want some sex, I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's one of those. Yeah, he's that person. Yeah. Okay, he's a little cuddly buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 have a little late night sleepover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 sleepover. Only totally do. <laughs> so he he doesn't have a girlfriend. You don't have a boyfriend. It's just that it's just, that agreement. Yeah. It's not an everyday thing. It's not a. It's not a clingy thing. It's a more of. I'm feening. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and I'm asking these questions. So, how did you get to the point where you realized that okay, I'm okay with having sex? How did I get? Because through? you never had this conversation with no yeah. parents or anything, right? I guess it's so, because me and him. I guess we talked about it before. He mm-hmm. asked me everything I was comfortable with, like how far I could, how far he could go, all of that. How did you know what you were comfortable with? 
talking about LL Cool J? I didn't. Mm. I basically, I basically told, I told him the 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 borderline stuff. I was like, we can kiss, touch my booty a little bit. That's it. <laughs> what? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then if, if look, if you do that right, we can step on more. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. So would you say that y'all just had generic sex the first time? Yeah. Okay. I would. Mm. I would say no feelings attached. No. As it should be. Yeah. Kind of a... <laughs> but you say that. <laughs> Feelings do be dangerous. Feelings, boy, love is a dangerous drug. Love Very. is a drug you do not need to take. Do you hear me? Please. Uh, go back. Oh. Okay, so go back to this conversation with your father. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, all he said, he would, no grandbabies, he no said, STIs. Yes. And uh, that was pretty much it. He just didn't want no slip ups. Mm. And as long as as long as I was using a condom, he didn't care what I do. But I couldn't do it in his house. He would let my boyfriends come over, but it, we couldn't have sex in the house. Did either one of your parents talk to you about putting on a condom? I mean, how to put on? My mom, oh yeah, my, my mom did. Okay. My oh, did. wait. So wait, you had a conversation with the stepmom too? Yeah, uh, but, <laughs> that like, but that was like later. After, yeah, later, later, later after my dad. So none of this happened before. Not before having sex, no. Okay, pause. Monique, you. Oh, no. <laughs> this is my story. Not your story. <laughs> well, so, so, so tell us about your your journey with your parents. Okay, well, both my parents um, were involved into, you know, the sex topic. Thing. Mm-hmm. And I would say about, I think it was introduced when I was four. Mm-hmm. But that was kind of by default because I have old, you know, older siblings, mm-hmm. so you know, scary things start happening. So, yeah, that's basically how I was introduced. I never had sex, so I'm a virgin. But, but, but what was that conversation like, though? Oh, it was... Don't rush me. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, well, it was... This is Get what, on to Miss Candy. This is what sex was. They did get explicit, you know. What um, was explicit? You know, where their penis is. Oh, okay. Vagina, you know. Um, At four? Yeah, four. Okay. Yeah. Four years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But well, for me, my mind was already mature right. then, so because things during that time were already being exposed to me, so mm-hmm. it, well, I could understand and you know get it. But um, yeah, the most prevalent thing, though, I think the most important thing that they stressed throughout, like up until now, though, was that sex was like glue. And my dad made it more of a point to me than my mom when he said that because he wanted it to stick because of our eldest sister who, you know, had, um, you know, a child early on in her mm-hmm. teenage years. So he made that more of a stress. So they didn't scare you about it. They no. just gave you the, the basic facts. Here's yeah. what this is. I would say my dad more was like hard on it, though, mm-hmm. because of our eldest sister. Right. Like so how did that make you feel? I mean, like, w- with them giving you these straight-up facts, how did that make you feel? It made me feel safe. Mm-hmm. It made me feel supported because I could come and talk to them about this. Mm-hmm. And thankfully, our relationship has always been that way where I could just talk to them about anything. Right. But, you know, yeah. So... So has that played a big decision in your, because you just mentioned that you were a virgin. virgin, has that played a big role in you not having sex? Yes, it has. How so? Um, in my relationships, though, I would mm, I would say it has like kind of threatened me in a way, mm-hmm. because it makes me think back to when they were talking to me as a child and how sex was like glue and how it sticks with you mm-hmm. and how um, your spirit is involved in that, how soul, mm-hmm. you know, soul ties and stuff like that. So, yeah, it kind of stopped me from having sex at moments where I had those urges right. and those hormones, you know, building. But yeah. Yes, you have something to say? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, they told me sex is like full time. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. They told me. I think we've all had that conversation. Oh, well, that, my mom and my dad definitely had that conversation. The reason why I brought that up is because a lot of people, and I'm gonna ask your opinion on it because you didn't have it at this early age. You had, she had it early, but y'all had it in 13, 14. Mm-hmm. So the something that I push hard is for parents to talk to their kids about having sex or sexual organs at three, four, five. Right, because if you understand it, if you can understand it in a small way, it helps make your way. decisions better later on. Mm-hmm. And it's not something that, um, oh, you're encouraging them to have sex. No, it's education. So, how do you feel it because you got it at 13, 14, right? Mm-hmm. If you had had it a little younger, do you think that maybe some of your decisions might have been a little different? Um. It depends. I don't know. Growing up younger, like, everybody was always older than me. So it was there. It was just a matter of, like, how do we even phrase this to her? Like, what would we even say about this? Like, it was kind of like a mind your business type situation. That's that's how I held it. Sex has always been in that view of me. Like, it's not my business what they do. It's not my business. It's not their business what I do. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I had it at the right age because it was just like, other than that, I wasn't really thinking about it like that. Mm-hmm. I was just like, you know. Another day living, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, what do you think? Honestly, it could have went either way because I was going to find out for myself. Okay. Because they're, come on guys, porn. <laughs> not even going not, not even to sugarcoat it. There's porn and I know, I know your little, your little fast nine self, nine year old self is looking on it like, hmm, what does this do? Mm. Like, yeah. come on. But, but see, I feel like, oh, go ahead. I feel like. It probably, a lot of people should get it younger mm-hmm. just so they're aware of it mm-hmm. and know that, like, when, they, when they're when they ready to have sex, they're, like, educated about it. Because mm-hmm. sometimes people go into having sex. Like, I work with this one girl, and she started having kids at 13. Mm-hmm. She had a 17-year-old boyfriend, mm-hmm. and they was just bumping and grinding. Mm-hmm. And she had five kids mm-hmm. by wow. her 20s. Oh. By yeah. her 20s. Yep. Ooh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me because we knew a girl that at eight she was having sex and by ten she was having her first kid mm-hmm. and she had five, six, six kids by the time she was twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Twenty-two, yeah. The female body is amazing. Uh, yeah. Hello, yeah. that's really no. that's number one. Yeah, Not only does it have good vagina, it pops out babies too. Please. So, <laughs> with <laughs> with that being said, so what are some of the things that now you your mindset has changed since the first time that you've had sex or not? Because there's I don't like certain condoms. things. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's exactly. The, so you're I, going I, said, I said what I said. I said what I said. I do not like condoms. You don't like condoms. Don't. Why? Because I just I just don't. I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel, the, feel same. the same. It doesn't feel the same. Mm-hmm. So you and this <laughs> this partner that you have. We have, we still use condoms. We still oh we still use them. I just don't like them. I complain about it all the time. Okay. Have you actually done it without one? Yeah. Okay. I have. Uh-huh. I was in a relationship though. Okay. It wasn't free nilly willy, you know. Not right. 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 <laughs> Girl. Ooh. It wasn't just like it wasn't just like hey you come on. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was like. It was like, it was established. Yeah. <laughs> How do you keep an open mind? Like, I know that, you know, everything is sexualized and commercialized. So mm-hmm. I know you're keeping an open, well, f- I, from just talking to you, I know you guys keep an open mind about things. Mm-hmm. So is there anything that's off limits at this point? Um, it just depends. <laughs> I like y'all. We was both like, the two only thing, look, let me tell you, the only two things going in my butt is a tongue and a finger. That's it. Like, oh. Do not Honestly, know. I don't like it. If you have not tried a tongue and a finger, I suggest you. I suggest look, you do. Look, I suggest th- it will change your life. Look, a thumb will do magical things. <laughs> yes, let me tell you, you think she's stuck now. Put your, put your thumb in her butt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for me, put your thumb in her butt. it just depends on the person. Some people just don't even deserve for you to be nasty with them like that. Like some people just deserve a kiss, and even then, they like preach a cold. Like please, <laughs> <laughs> but since my first time, oh, my mindset has definitely changed. Like at that point, the, my first time wasn't even sex. Like how people describe it, it was the worst time of my life. Yes, two out of ten. Don't recommend. <laughs> I like I. It's to the point where I can't even like look at that dude no more. Like. He would still be texting me, talking about myself. Let's do it again. No, that's never <laughs> for me. Why would you? Why would you do that? No. Mm. 
Because I love them every day until we still thick Steve's. Look, good. You better so that's amazing, though, because you guys have two different experiences. Yeah. Though. You yeah. still having sex with the one, and you not. I can't. But why? What What was so bad about it? We We weren't a good couple. Like, I was, I'm very, you know, I'm not very, I hate confrontation. I really do hate confrontation. I try to avoid it in all possible ways unless I have to. He's very confrontational. He is very much... You look at me wrong, we fighting. And I'm just like, fight. <laughs> I will be in the car with my purse. I'm going to his purse. And that just kinda that just kinda seeped through into us having sex because it's like, no, I can't. I can't have sex with you. I don't even trust you. Like, I'm over here, what if we get in an argument? Mm-hmm. Then what? Mm-hmm. Or like, what if I don't want to have sex and you aggressive and you don't mean it like that? And it's also just like how we grew up. He grew up in a big house where you know sex was always talked about or like everybody was always having kids and i was very particular about that like i'm not i'm not having kids like i'm not having kids until i'm married and i'm fully until committed but <laughs> or or even then like at least we until we know that if we have kids we're going to be committed to those kids mm-hmm. he didn't have you know he didn't have issues with his father i have tremendous father issues mm-hmm. And so it was just, it was so many things to where we couldn't even be friends. Like, we're not friends now. I couldn't look him on the street. Just thinking about him making me mad. Like, no. <laughs> so I see the theme with y'all two, and I'm about to go to Mo in a second. But I see the theme with you, both of you guys, though, that you would rather be friends with that person, yeah. right? Yeah. And establish a friendship before you do all of this. Before you do anything. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Mo. What has your sexual experience been like? Because we, we already know we already know that you know you haven't actually done it, but we know well I know anyway <laughs> that you've come you've come to some some conclusions with sex, right? So what what is your take on because there's there's been a things there's been things that's not done because of certain reasons. So what what would tell me a little bit about your take? I've done things, but I have not gone, you know, fully into, mm-hmm. you know, do mm-hmm. that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yes, like, you know, like, head, I don't want to, mm, should I say millennial term, head? Like, yes, I've done that. Um, That's not millennial. That's a oh, regular well, term. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Felatio. I'm a touchy feely person. I like to touch mm-hmm. people, you know, I like people to touch me, but like when it comes to my like temple, that's when I start to like shut down because I'm like, oh, right. so I don't know. I guess when I was having that experience, for me, like what I felt in my soul, I felt like it wasn't time for me yet. Right. If that makes sense to mm-hmm. ask. Yeah. So that's why I haven't done that. But what got you to the point of actually wanting to get mad though? Because, you know, oh, that's a big step too. Yeah. That is. Okay. So. I don't fuck everybody did. This is true. And as you should not. <laughs> People don't deserve uh, that. I'm sorry. Yo, hi, look. If I can smell you from over there. Oh. oh you're staying over there. I think that was the biggest factor in it though Mm -hmm. because i knew i knew him he knew me um we have the same values Mm -hmm. same you know everything he i knew he was clean he knew i was clean all of that right and i guess that's why i went through with it because we already had that intimacy so it was just very comfortable so did you have a conversation with him about this before it actually yes. happened? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. well, what did that conversation look like, though? Um, face face to face. And so I mean, but what 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 words were you using? What what did you say? Oh, we were very explicit about it. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all was like, y'all was with you was like, y'all was like, I'm like, I mean, we were like, you know, explicit with, but we also like were very descriptive with it. Mm -hmm. And see, as you should be, and that's where I was going with this, having those conversations with your person. I think he 
he also made me very comfortable and mm-hmm. didn't make me feel very like insecure, like conscious about myself. Mm-hmm. So. And, and there was no pressure. Yeah, there was no pressure. Should. It was very consensual. As I was like, just some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Drop them draws. That's my favorite phrase. Man, <laughs> Ooh, that was real. I look at no, my favorite girl. phrase. My favorite phrase is when I get home, you better be naked. <laughs> <laughs> So, so then my question would be: So we, we've heard a little bit about her experience. What about y'all? You know, the I first mean, time you gave head. Chapter one. <laughs> chapter one. <laughs> the first time I gave head, I was just first of all, I was, I was talking <laughs> so much shit. Okay, I was, we was on the phone the day before. I was like, I'm gonna do this, that, and the third. Okay, you and he was like maybe a year and a half older than me. And so he was like, you're not about it, whatever. Da, da, da. Was, and that really made me hard. I was like, oh, I'm not about it? <laughs> I'm good enough, okay? I'm going to reach for the top, okay? I'm going to be the best you ever had, you know, Drake, okay? Oh but oh. also, I did not know what I was doing. So you know what I did? I went on Pornhub, and I typed in how to give hat, <laughs> okay? And there was a lady giving tutorials with, with a dildo. And when I tell you, I paid attention, and... You know, went to practice. I performed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what is it? Lord. Four years later, he's still hitting my line. So and I guess she... I didn't go. <laughs> 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 I guess I didn't go. Okay. Oh, and she still God, performing. help! Look, I'm still performing. Yes. Oh, okay. My God. But now it's a solo. Act. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <That's a> solo. <laughs> act. What about you, Yes? Um, the first time I gave him. Um, how, I don't know how to describe it because I, I, I wouldn't say I was I was the first time I gave him head. I told him I was like, look, you want me to you want me to suck your dick? I don't know how. <laughs> well, so you, I told I told him that it was the same person I was my virginity to. Okay. So I told him I was like, look, I'm a full virgin. Like you getting the new me. Like, <laughs> like, like you the base. No, nah, you getting you getting the foundation. The foundation. Like you are starting this off. So if I bite you, I'm so sorry. Oh. I told him that because I was like. I've never done this before. Not the luckily, that, luckily, that did not happen. And not happy. I'm naturally clean. Wow, so you just like, boop, dig in my mouth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what happened. What happened was, he... Uh, we were touchy-feely each other. Mm-hmm. And then he was just like, have you ever gave head? And I was like, no. He was like, do you want to? I was like, sure. <laughs> 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 And then he was like, he was like, basically, it's like he told he told me he was like, basically, just don't use your teeth. And I was like, that's all I gotta do. He was like, yeah, just don't use your teeth and don't do too much, cause that was new. And he was like, if you go too far, you gonna throw up. I was like, mm, at least you know. Cause oh, I was like, wow. So when I first did it, um, it was okay. I would not recommend it though. My first <laughs> time, my first time, I don't recommend. I do not. Not the Yelp reviews. But 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 once I got the hang of, I mean he. He's still so, right here, so I'm guessing. I guess I've, I've I've improved over the years, but the first time I did, I do not recommend. Do not do it. So there was no mishaps. You just didn't like. I just it. didn't like it at first because mm-hmm. I think it was because he was he was trying to control me, and I don't like being controlled. No. Oh yeah, I don't no. like that. When they yeah, I don't like that. When they push my head, I'm like, I don't. Oh, like, I, like, I, like, I like being controlled. Everything else, but when I'm giving head. I'm giving head. This is my time. Don't Please. push me. Yeah, I don't like so that. So how did they? How did I they love like it. respond? Yes, give it to me. I want oh, you to. How did they respond mm-hmm. to my first time? Mm-hmm. They were actually, when I tell you, actually, he was just, he was just like, it feels good. You just need to work on it. Like he didn't oh, tell me, he didn't he, tell me. It was that's like, very good. Like he didn't, he didn't tell me, he didn't tell me like you suck. He didn't be like, yo, you need to like, what's going on? He was like, for your first time, you did pretty well. I was yeah. like, thanks. What about you, CC? For me, he was very, he was very, I guess, supportive, cheering me on. Like, <laughs> He's like, while I was doing it, he was like moaning and stuff. I was like, oh. in my head, I was like, well, golly. <laughs> I might be doing something right here. But then he put his hand on my head. I was like, whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, Yeah, I hate whoa. that. I hate what is that. it called? What's that little mean where it's like, you you roll it too fast. You got too much <laughs> You got too much dip on your chip. Now. That shit about to break, okay? Father, in the name. But no, he was just, I just asked him, like, do you like, because a lot of guys don't like the mess mm-hmm. of head. And me, really? Yeah. Everybody I've met said I 
all over. Okay. Oh, wow. That's the one thing I can't do to sound a spit. So I, I was just I like, that little, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, but he gave, he gave, you know, my favorite phrase is like, okay, on a scale of one to ten, how I do. He gave me a six. Okay. <laughs> I don't ask that. I do. Because it's like, did you really enjoy it? Like, come on now. This is a mutual, this is a mutual agreement. Okay. Come I on. I said on the first time though. I do it like, if we've like, say we're having, you know, consensual sex for about a couple weeks, I'm going to be like, so, how's my performance level? Well, if you're coming back, it's <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, so, how's my performance level? Order Monique, did, 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 did he give a performance? Um, he took me to my space. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, so, when do you have time? <laughs> like, he was like, and he asked me, he was nah, like, my favorite was that your, he said, was that your first, like, that was really your first time? I said, yes. Mm-hmm. And he was like, so, you want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> you get the morning after he was like damn i fell asleep as soon as i got home i bet you did <laughs> <laughs> okay, night, so, so let's talk about feelings though um, so, oh. <laughs> so, so how, 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 I and i'm gonna start with you because i know they're gonna talk forever um <laughs> so but how did you feel after doing this act after doing it um i felt okay i felt fine okay because I think the only thing that I regretted sort of was like the time and the place. Like I feel like we should have waited a little bit more, just a little bit more, like maybe a month, you know? Bro, (laughs) what kind of place did we do this at then? Um, In the car? Girl, BG. You know what? At a house. Oh, it was at a house though. Okay. Very comfortable. But you said the place, so you just didn't. Was there somebody home? Was it twelve thirty? Man, was his mattress on the floor? Like what happened? <laughs> <laughs> like you saying it like 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 you walked in and there was roaches on the side. Of the <laughs> <laughs> like I don't get it. What was the but, issue then? Like yeah, the place? I guess it was just my my spirit. Like, oh like, yeah. Like I'm very. What is the word, y'all? Like your your. Intuition. Your intuition. That's what it was. My intuition. Are you like an empath? Me, yes, mm-hmm. I'm an intuition. My intuition was just telling me like, no, not right now. Like, like later, later. You know? Yeah, but okay, I can't go there. That's why I didn't anyway. go there. <laughs> I can't go. I can't go there. So, um, how did you guys feel after? And I'm saying after the first time you had sex, and after the you first time first you gave you head. Know. Um, after I felt, I, I honestly, I felt like. I just won money in the bank WWE championship because he was really he was really hyping me up. He was like, I gotta see you again. Like and I'm just at first I was kinda nervous. I was like, did I even do that right? Like, first of all, um, no disclaimer, I I was not I needed a beginner. That was <laughs> when he pulled it out, I was like, Whoa, this was not in the description. This was not in the package I bought. I don't know what's going so on. So was he big? Then? He was. I was like, where is where is this gonna go? Oh. <laughs> where is this, I was where is this gonna go? But I but at the same time, that was the first time I seen a penis in real life. So I was oh. like, is this what they look like? Oh. I was like, hold on, where is, is there a pocket for this? Like what is this? <laughs> and then like what really like baffled me, he was like, next time just go all the way down. I was like Okay, so when you suck dick, you <laughs> let me know, and you can go all the way down, okay? <laughs> Excuse, oh me. <laughs> Excuse me. You try to put a whole Subway sandwich in your throat, okay? Right. Hello? Okay. Absolutely. Um, the, how I felt after my first time, I felt, um, I don't know, I felt new. Mm. I felt like it was the beginning of a new chapter. Not even, not even gonna, not even going, not even going cap. It was just like, like it wasn't a bad feeling. It was just like a, like a, I could feel change. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing. It, I didn't know if I liked it or not, but like after I gave head, I was like, life goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it was, the, I think it was the sex. Like once I, once I started having sex, I was like, I guess I found this new confidence. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I people used to call me ugly all the time. 
And I was just like, people used to call me ugly all the time. All the time. Girls, boys, you name it. I was Wait a minute. Ugly. Wait a damn minute. Are you serious? I've right been now? asked. People used, to, people used to call me ugly. People used to say I had butt injections in eighth grade. Yeah. They used to say my whole body was fake. They used to they used to knock on me because I had bad acne. I had really bad acne. And they used to call me pepperoni face. They used to call me ugly. All of that. But like once I started having sex, I was like, hmm, maybe I'm not that ugly. You know? So let, let's put this disclaimer here right now. So if anybody ever in their life ever calls CC Jasmine or Monique ugly, you gonna see me. Okay, anyways, continue. All right, continue. But, I'm sorry that but, just but after I had sex, it was because I think I think I felt good because he didn't like scurry off. You know, he's like he's still my friend. Like he would be like he took me home, text me, you know, tell me are you okay? Da da da. Are you okay? How was your first time? Are you still comfortable? Like are we still good? Like he was he was really communicative about it, and like he made me feel like it was comfortable. Like I like he made me comfortable enough to go through with it again. Yeah. So I feel like I just felt new. I'm just I'm I'm stuck on this ugly thing. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, like yeah, they used like, to call me ugly. Where kids in middle school, where? they were rude. rude. They used to call me a boy. I used to have a a heavy Memphis accent when I first moved here in middle school. When I tell you, they'd be like, "Why do you talk like that? You talk like a boy." Ugh. Yeah. Or like my before my braces, that was a crime. <laughs> any, any photo, video, I used to have messed up teeth. And so they'd be like, Ugh, it's Miss Snaggletooth over here. Oh, What's the lady wow. from Matilda, that teacher, Miss Hannigan? Yeah, they was they was really on my neck, bro. But now I can clap back, okay? I'm clap back and I'm pretty. <laughs> Do you ever feel like um, anybody that you dated or had sex with used sex as a weapon? Yes. How so? How? Because they, they use it to get what they want. Mm. Mm-hmm. They feel like if they give you good enough dick, you'll give you'll pay their rent. Mm-hmm. Please, huh. first of all, I'm living check to check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you thought this was. I feel, like, I, feel like, I feel like once you ask for it, once they ask for something and you tell them no, they'd be like, they'd be like, I, I give you so much, I give you good sex, I cook you dinner. So those are basic human values. First of all, <laughs> your mom, your mom cooked that meal. Man, not even. You, you, you picked that. You picked that up from Boston Market. Don't play with me. I know, I know that. I know that steamed chicken. Don't play. What? But no. I know that rotisserie anywhere. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? So do you ever feel like you struggle with your self esteem in that manner? Sometimes, most definitely, especially when. It's especially when you kind of like start up with somebody new. Mm-hmm. Like the second person I had sex with, that was kind of that was my best experience. Even though like we don't have sex anymore, I don't. We don't have sex anymore. He still made me feel safe through and through. Like there would be a lot of things that my ex at the time would do that would make me rethink my decision. Like I'm, I really had sex with you. Like I really wasted my first time on you. Like. But it was really like a confident thing. Like I wasn't really comfortable. I didn't really know how to like show my body in like the right way. Like I wear a bra that would be too small or too big, or like you know my. <laughs> when I tell you there was no cake, it was not even cupcake. It was just that. <laughs> it, was, it was hopes and dreams. Okay. And he would make me feel bad about that. Like what you said about using sex as a weapon. He mm-hmm. would be like, you know, I I took your virginity back. Of course we gonna be together. We supposed to be together. And like we did, we were like on and off maybe what? Two That's not years? how it goes. Yeah, it was two years. I was there for all of it. Love. And when I tell you, he was so. And then with me not wanting confrontation and him being so confrontational, that really like went back and forth because he's like, he's over here gaslighting me. I'm like, whatever you say. Like, <laughs> but when I started introducing myself to somebody new, he was so sweet. Ten out of ten, highly recommend. You see, my second time, I hated him. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> I did not like my second time. He was, he was. Mm. Do you think it was too soon? What was it about it? I think I liked him more than he liked me. Oh. Mm. I think, I think he, Those I vibes. think, I think he was, I think he was there to have sex. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. there to have a friendship mm-hmm. and then have sex. Mm-hmm. And when when we started being friends. It was a cool friendship, but it was like you could tell he wasn't really into it. I was like, okay, that's fine, you know. And then I guess I wore an outfit to school one day, and he was all over it, and I was just like, huh, hmm, hmm. Funny, well, you're here. What? I was like, hmm, what changed? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't know. We did have a 
had sex a couple times because it was good, but like he was just annoying. Mm. He was annoying. He's still annoying, and he has a whole girlfriend. Oh. Oh wow! But I feel that's the worst. I'm thing. not gonna say her name though. This actually uh, no, brings, please. This actually brings something up for me. So like, there have been urges. Like, okay, so one of the earlier people I was like involved with, basically, he um he wanted to do things very quickly and mm-hmm. very fast. Like, um he was very he he started to grow attached to me if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to do stuff early that I wasn't ready for. You know, like. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, have sex, and he also was lanky in that manner. So, <laughs> <laughs> me being a virgin, I was just like, um, how's that gonna work? Right. Like, what you know, so? how, how is this gonna fit? Mm-hmm. And so that kind of put a damper on our relationship. So, mm-hmm. had to because I mean, nobody should be pressuring you to do anything that you don't exactly. want to do. Exactly, and I. Mm-hmm. I've actually only had sex with one of my boyfriends. Now that I think about it, mm. huh? only one of only one person that I've been in a relationship with have had sex with. Huh. All the other ones, they didn't get that far. But I mean, that's good though. Yeah, because you shouldn't be giving yourself to everybody. I'm not giving myself. That's too much. That's too much energy. Cause now I got you, your ex. I got no. Nah. So so tell me what was the worst experience then? Well. <laughs> This is my part. Nobody <laughs> else <did. laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> but no, the worst experience was, first of all, he, he started off wrong. He was just like, you know, at first he was saying everything that was good, he can't kiss. As soon as, like, it's really awkward to tell somebody that they can't kiss. Like, I feel like it was just like, peace, like, like he was biting me. Like, <laughs> and then when... Wait, pause, pause, <laughs> pause. This man was like, <laughs> that's what it feels like because I don't know. He was like, I do not know how to describe it, but he Did was he not, not have no lips. He was, it was, wasn't a white man. Oh, but, oh no, no. It was actually look, we know him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. but what really like no, what really just set me off that made me just stop in the middle of it is like he wanted to eat me out, and of course, like I love having my titties up. Like first of all. This perfect cup, <laughs> this don't sit for free. <laughs> but he bit my nipple, and I was like, you know what? I'm about to, I'm about to put my Crocs on. <laughs> I'm about to get the step in. I'm about to put him in sports mode. Oh. Look, and he was like, okay, I'm sorry. Like, you know, I'm kind of nervous. And I was like, yeah, you need to calm your nerves down. <laughs> we got different nerves. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he, like, ate me out, he was eating me out so aggressively. I was like, please, I am not rotisserie. Like, please. <laughs> Oh wow, like, I like, am not rotisserie. And so I was just like Jesus help us Lord. <laughs> I was just like, you know, I don't think we should do this. You're clearly like trying to perform, like you're not comfortable with this. I'm trying to give you the open space to say that. And he was just like, Yeah, I appreciate it. Let's go, let's try this again. We never tried it again. Okay? <laughs> never. N- number deleted. Be blessed. Be best. Wow. Okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Because it's like, you've seen me in this vulnerable position, and I've seen you in this vulnerable space, and I get that you're new, but, like, I can't do that again with you, because mm-hmm. I always have that expectation. Like, I went in having no expectations, and it just went below. Wait, so you said new? Yeah. Like, are you talking? What do you mean? Like, like new expectations. Like, I'm gonna be like, okay, no, like, so he can't was, get it. No, you said new. Like, was he new? No, we have sex, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's what I Wait, wait, look at me. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait, but wait, he was new at having sex. So he never had sex before, ever. No. Oh. And I do not re- I do not recommend that. I am so sorry. So it's not who I'm thinking of, because what I'm thinking of, he's a sex demon. Oh. Okay. Like Well, yeah. And her it, he's he's our ex. And he's he's had he's had multiple relations with my friend. Oh, yeah, well, and that that's the problem so well, he has Are we talking about that one? Well, we have to no, move on. No, no, we're not, because cause, cause we have to move on. To you. Oh, to me. <laughs> My worst, look. It's the breathing for me. Because <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was so excited. Because he was, he, was, he was a tall, dark-skinned basketball player. Oh. With dreads. Oh. Mm. Hallelujah, some dreads. Man, some, some love locks. Wow. Right. The dreads got me. He was big, stocky, bigger than me. He could pick me up with his finger. Okay. <laughs> But y'all, he was not packing. Oh, I mean, like when I tell you the size of his cup on hard, 
Well, that's Decide a good cook. Decide Decide that's a good cook. On hard. That's different. On hard. Uh, well, the length, the, not the width. No, not the width. The, 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 this is how tall it was. This that's, is this that's when it not a problem. Up, when it's it was a problem. Cause I have a lot of ass. <laughs> I have her, a lot of ass for her. And her. and and his his his. It was it was small. He did he didn't even last like five minutes, y'all. Oh, that be I mean, but that can be fixed and corrected. See, the that's a that's a younger age thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, because I, I can't. Mm-mm. That can be fixed and corrected. Yeah. I don't like I don't like huge dicks, but his was just too small. It to just make depends on if they can use it. If you right. have to use it correctly, he have to then use it. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. And thus, he could not ride that wave. Oh. But experience and time changes know, things. Yes, I know they say the ocean, the, the the boat is it's about the size. It's not about the size of the boat. It's about the motion of the ocean. Mm-hmm. He didn't have the size of the boat or the motion of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was he was he was on a raptor. If he was the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so he was not, and it wasn't even it wasn't even on beat. He was. <laughs> because no. you said about this big, yes? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On hard. I've actually had this big, literally my pinky. That's so that's a problem. That that's a problem. problem. You, yeah. But what you're saying can I work. Could. I bet it could. But I'm with the right teaching. But I ain't trying to teach. Man. <laughs> okay. okay to so let, let's talk about that though. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. in in your older age, there are some people that you might have to teach. Yeah, and the expectation should not always be that they know what to do for you. Never, ever should be. Because. But it was like I was trying to help him. It just wasn't clicking. Did you know how to articulate exactly what you wanted, though? Yes. Okay. Yes. And and did you guide him? Yeah, to... I, I put him where I wanted him. <laughs> I, I said, you put your hand here. I'm gonna put mine here. We gonna do it like this. Did not work. <laughs> so it's listening. Didn't work. So it's listening. I guess. Him. I guess. I guess the nigga. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <Just communication. laughs> I guess he was deaf. It was the lack of communication. Man, yeah. it was something. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, your horror stories don't sound that too far off from older horror stories either. Um, I mean, I've had a few things happen to me where I got my um, my clip bit. Ooh. Oh, that hurts so bad. <coughs> um, I, I felt that in mine. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to cry. Yeah, and I immediately muffed him, and I didn't mean to. It was just an automatic reaction. Yeah, your body was like, fight. Like, <laughs> 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 So, guys, so what's the freakiest thing at this point in time that you feel like you've done? Mm. Wow. Um, for me, uh, for me, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really trying to phrase it correctly because you don't have to do, do, do sugarcoat. When I did, when I did anal for the first time, mm-hmm. but yeah, I got it was kind of like okay. The term is a DP. But it was only one person, and it was like a dildo and me and him. It was amazing, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And if he wasn't the most toxic person on this earth, mm-hmm. I would be calling him back, okay? So, do you, so you really like Adol? Um, I just liked how comfortable I was with him. I wouldn't like say I w- if I was gonna like if I was gonna do it again, I wouldn't say it. He would just have to bring it up, and be like, "Hey, let me try this." I'd be like, "You know what, cool cat, let's try it." Not cool yet. So, what made you comfortable enough to do it, Anna? Like, just his, him, or was it that you had this thought in your head before? Actually, it was kind of accident. Like, he would always put his thumb, he would always put his thumb in my ass while he took me on the back. And then, I guess we were just like, because, you know, the adrenaline rush, we have one, two, three, four, and I was like, okay, let's go, 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 move. And then, like, he put it in the wrong hole. I was like, oh, oh, hold on. Like that old chain so quick. I was like, hold on. He was like, okay, what do you want me to do? Like he was panicking. He was like, okay, do you want me to talk? I was like, let's do slow motion. Okay, let's let's build up to this. Let's build this pattern. <laughs> but no, after that, I was just like, yeah, we going to keep this in my back pocket. Okay, this ain't very <laughs> Yeah, because um, I been close with anal. I think <laughs> the freakiest thing I've done. Um, it was in the heat of the moment. <laughs> it was in the heat of the moment. We were a missionary and he spit my mouth. Right in it. And you was just like, well. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I draw the line <laughs> at spitting in my mouth. Ma- oh, no. And there was one time he no, spit no. on my chest. Oh. But what was the point of the spitting? Like, did it turn him on? Did it turn yeah, you I, on? I think it added some spit. She was just like, just vibes. Oh, I was enjoying the moment. Okay. It was just there. So, like. And that's so, what happened with the spit in my mouth. I was, I was just enjoying the moment. So, that's something that you would do again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, everybody to each his own. I don't so, have you? Are there any fetishes that you've heard of that you would like to try? Like any fantasies that, at this point, um, like you would want to try? I don't. It really depends on the person. <laughs> Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know how they feel like, like you know how they like warm the honey and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like they could drip with like the eyes. Oh, oh. 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 I you know, I mean, you know, that's just regular. I love oh, it. <laughs> Have y'all seen the grapefruit technique? Do not do that. Don't do it. No, ma'am. Okay. I have something do better it. for you. Okay. Oh, Is everybody in the room shaking their head? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> or something along. Something along. Yes, I have something it. for you. No, don't do, like, do that. The actual grapefruit, because that's kind of nasty. You forgetting grapefruit who I am. Candy, oh, candy, uh, thank candy, candy, thank candy, you candy, for the promo. Bedroom candy by Candy Jones. I don't like you. See, but I'm just not meeting you. Why am I just not meeting her? Hello. Oh. We're gonna talk about this later. It's called the helping well, hand. Oh, it's called the helping hand. Oh, helping. Oh, I do that all the time. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a. We'll have to show you. Yeah, yeah. Just show me, just show me. I think it's in the car actually. Right. So, um, but yeah. So, um, the, the, is there anything fantasy wise? Because most of her, hers. Um, I don't have a fetish, but I have a fantasy. Mm-hmm. I, I want to have a threesome one day. Hmm. Okay. I do. Okay. I do. Two girls, two guys, a guy and a girl. A uh, guy and a girl. Okay. I do. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would say that, and I don't know. I can't get into the food thing because it. No, I want you to lick the whole. Or the wax. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or like whipped cream. No, I want you to lick that off me too. No, just lick me. You don't gotta lick nothing off. <laughs> but you see, if you lick it off me, you got something to clean, and then you got some. Never mind. No, see, that's but that's definitely the threesome. I know. <laughs> I was so close to having one. But what is it called? He canceled. He was like, he was like, okay. He was just thinking too much about it, and he was very self conscious. So I didn't want to put him in a position where he was uncomfortable with it. Mm-hmm. Was it two guys and just you? Or oh no, it was two guys. Girls. Girls. It was two oh. girls. I can't do two guys. That'd be that's too much energy. That's too much. I don't know. I feel like I'm more comfortable with women because women are more communicative, especially when it comes to body. Body. Yeah. Girls do like to talk. Um, guys be like, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just here to see some ass. Yeah. Um, show some titties, please. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> but no, there was this one girl. When I when I I kid you not, she was so fun. She was so fun. I don't know if I can say this. She got big titties too. So I was just like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> go, go my way. Really, you're a titties girl. I like ass. I mean, I don't have ass. So it's like I, I don't have. I I have both, but like not enough. I kind of like women that are like built like me or Her. look like me. I don't know. I like all types of women. Communication, communication wise for me, like, I don't know, like, my experience was different. Like, he was very communicative to me. I don't know. Maybe that was his style. Well, Mo, you like to talk. You like to tell your business. No, not tell your business. Not you true. like to tell your feelings. Like it's when you're true. when you're feeling some type of way, you let and somebody he was know. His. Yeah, and you very, don't. Very much so. And as you should be. As I mean, you should. That's yeah. a healthy that's relationship. Why so though. He was, he was very because Mo, Mo will let you know when she's not in the mood. Okay. Yeah. She's like, so going back to what you guys just said, though, like if you're going, and this is just my recommendation, right? Um, if you're going to have a threesome, make sure you have full communication beforehand. Full, because but you say that, but there are people that don't have that full communication and f up their whole life right, yeah. because now you've introduced. I have a boyfriend, and then now you've introduced this girl into the picture. Well, now she wants to have sex with him just alone, and now they. Oh no! Or, see, see, see! I already have it planned out. My fantasy, my fantasy oh. threesome. Let me tell you, me and my husband. <clears throat> oh, wow. We're in Scotland. All right. <laughs> 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 We're in Scotland. We go, we go to this happy ending place with the massage thing. We fo- we find this cute little blonde, blue-eyed girl that don't speak no type of English. Okay, but she's a bedroom monster. Okay, we get a room, we do the deed, we leave. They never see each other. Oh. Um, Miss Ma'am, first of all, the no English, please. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all start there. Okay, but like, what if y'all was good and y'all want to do it again? Like, Dude, we gonna go back to we gonna go back to Scotland. Okay. See, 
Oh, we're gonna fly, said, we gonna fly out. Cause you said do it and then never see each other again. Why are you gonna fly? Yeah, I never see her again. We're gonna me and my husband are gonna go. go. We're probably gonna look, look, if it's good enough, we're probably gonna find different victims. So if but I'm saying <laughs> not victims. Oh, wow. Not even go Not <laughs> different <laughs> victims. <laughs> Ma'am. Nah, because look, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but <laughs> I am a sex machine. I, but I, I do it pretty well. I've never You're had that. Active. I've never had committee. Com- I have never had that many complaints. Okay, I've actually never had any complaints. If you want me to be realistic, well, they they've all texted me. Hey, so when are we gonna do that again? Eh, no. <laughs> but I expect my husband to be the same way because if I'm giving my 110, you're giving 120. All right. Not the extra 10. Yes, the extra 10. Because oh, you have you. Don't, that's my thing though. Cause guys feel like we should give more, more like effort in the bedroom. You, so you only have one body part. Like <laughs> you, you have one, maybe two if you count your mouth, and you can barely use that. So oh. we have, we have how many holes? How many, many body parts? Too many. How many things to grab? Or like okay. The Let me know. That we have to be like a porn star. First of all, they're professionals. <laughs> Not for real. They Missy. got super trained. Exactly. The porn star you're watching, she is 25. <laughs> She's been doing this since she was 18. Man. I've been in the game, what, a year and a half? Please. <laughs> Man. Please. Bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, mm. so, yes, I call them victims. Mm. I call all of them victims. Because mm. <laughs> I'm getting ready to close in just a moment. But... <laughs> My my question would be: Is there anything that you regret at this point in time? Um, yes, my second body. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my most not my most recent my second time having sex. I really wish that I took the time to appreciate him mm-hmm. because he made me feel comfortable in a way where that set the tone for anybody else that I ever have sex with in life. He was, I was, he made communication so fluid. Like, we were truly friends. But at the same time, like, I did not appreciate the friendship that we had in that. And it was kind of like, the sex was addicting. Mm-hmm. So we would have we would have sex and I would have all these attached feelings that would make him uncomfortable. And he was just like, okay, let's just have sex. And I should have took that into consideration. Because mm-hmm. he would ask me, like, look. Um, I do get that you is madly in love, but you know, I just want friends. I don't want to, I don't want a wife right now. And I was like, okay. Anyways, putting our last names together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I should have really, I should have really respected his space because even though that's not what I wanted, like, you know, I really feel, I'm the type of person where you got to consider all points of view. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, do I regret anything? Um, I try not to, I try to do things where I don't regret anything. Because if I live in regret, my mind would be effed up. But I think the one thing I would regret was, would be, I guess, the access they all had to me after. Mm. Mm. The access. I like that. I'm taking it. Because so. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, sex is sex, but it's not really just sex. There's always there's always something behind it. There's always an intention. There's always something behind it. So I feel like some of them were too attached and some of them weren't attached enough. And it all shows after like after everything, it was just I regret giving them that much time. Okay, I w- I was going to close but then I have a question. Mm-hmm. So but you talk as if you have no attachment. I don't have attachment. Mm. How, I, and how do you get there, ma'am? How do I get to not having attachments? Wait, let um, me get a notebook. Cause <laughs> it's not hard, honestly. You kind of just got to go in there with the mindset as no, they're here for sex. Not you're here for sex. Because if you go in there, you're here for sex, you're going to be like, I'm here for sex, but now I like the way you look. Like, Setting now the now expectations low. Well. Yes. You're, you go in there thinking that they're only here for sex. And then when they tell you that, yo, I want something more, then you open your feelings. Then you... Unlock the key. See. So why not wait until you actually have somebody that you have feelings for mm-hmm. instead of just having sex with someone that you have a no attachment to? Because sometimes the no attachment is more fun. Oh. Mm. I, feel like the I feel like not giving a flying flip is what makes it fun. I think it would. Ma- I think. I think it makes you like do more than what you thought you would do, because because 
it's not somebody you're attached to. It's not somebody that's going to judge you after. It's not somebody that's going to be like, remember that time? No, it's not going to be that person because it's 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 just a ra- it's not not a random person because don't do a random person. But it's somebody that like you can have a conversation with, but like if they stop talking to you after that, it's not going to hurt your feelings because because wow. you don't you you really you didn't open yourself for him to put like you didn't open yourself for him to be like for him to give you a what's the word I'm looking for for him to like I guess give you the 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 fishing line to his feelings or for him to plant a seed in you but you do realize that you can have all of that fun with somebody that you actually have an attachment yeah, to. yeah. honestly I'm not saying you can't but I'm just saying until I'm ready I'm gonna have that fun without the attachments yeah okay I feel like it's dangerous either way. Like I've, ooh, they look. Them so they know the story, but them two years, he had me by my throat. Not literally, guys. <laughs> but no, when I tell you that I thought this was in the role, I thought because everybody I open myself up to like that, you're a potential husband. Like yeah, like I I'm either gonna be madly in love with you and we have sex, or not at all. Like I've never had sex know. with somebody that I haven't said I love them to. And so that was really dangerous. I had too many feelings. So every time we would get in an argument, every time he would do something that really made me mad, and then we would like have sex afterwards, it was like, oh, maybe he didn't mean it. But then my critical thinking skills <laughs> cracked in. It's like, okay, that actually hurt my feelings. We couldn't ever have a conversation about our feelings. Mm. The only feelings that we had were in a towel. So. And I think wow. I think that's why I think that's why the the most of the people that I've dated I didn't have sex with them because I saw them more than just sex. I saw them as like, hey, this could be somebody in my future. So like right now, sex is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for and I'm looking for a bond. I'm looking for somebody that like I can call at 3 a.m. crying because there's no ice cream in my fridge and I'm on my period. That kind of stuff. Right. Like I'm not I'm not looking for a 1 a.m. hookup. If you're dating me, like sex is not on the table until at least six months. Because I don't, I don't, if you're going to, you play with my feelings, I will play with you. Oh. I, I will. <laughs> don't play with my feelings. Savage. Don't I'm... play with my feelings. That's why I don't, that's why I don't do the attachment thing. Because once you play with my feelings, it's murder. Wow. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like <laughs> being hurt. I don't. You better than me. I, I am Teddy like Tinder. Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be crying in Monique's house. Like. Exactly. No, no, because once I get attached, once I get attached, it's a different, it's a different me. It's a different, it's a different, like, emotional, a, a different emotional level. Because, like, once we have sex, yeah, I care for you. Yeah, I'm going to make sure you get home on time. But I don't care what the hell your mama told you yesterday at 2 p.m. about what, what's for lunch. No, I don't care. I care about, I care about That's how you feel. That's a dude mentality. What's your sign? I'm an Aries. I'm an Aries. Oh, I'm an Aquarius. Oh, but are you an April Aries? I am an April Aries. Okay, Aries. there we go. Yeah, there we I'm go. An April Aries. <laughs> I think that's nigga. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying it. Stronger. She's about to get us kicked okay. off the show. So I got. I have to wrap up, guys. But this has been an amazing conversation. It has. I really think that you should come back and and do a part two uh, of later on. Um, <laughs> Girl, what's up? I like this. I love it. Y'all really should have your own show, though. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so you guys have been watching Candyology, where we talk about love, sex, and relationships. I am so grateful for my guest Monique, uh, yes, and CC tonight. And um, you will, if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, please. Hashtag Thank you. Replay. And we will see you in two weeks, where I will be talking to. Um, his his name is uh, Elevation, but it's with L A V A T I O N, mm. mm. huh. and that's the name of his podcast. So um, we'll be talking about uh, a few things actually, um, but I'll, I'll keep you guessing for a little bit. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Um, and thanks so much, and uh, have a wonderful day. Wishing you love filled days and uh, orgasmic nights. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
Ciao for real.